everyone so today's video is going to be another kind of woman to woman video and as usual with these types of videos I haven't decided what I'm gonna call it yet I, I'm just full of fantastic ideas when it comes to these types of videos but then when I actually come to film them I cannot think of a name for them it is really 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 frustrating but I wanted to talk today about the impact that words and how you say things can have on people's weight and on people's body image. And I think that definitely today in the kind of world of the interweb, um, then it's very, very easy for people to be rude because you're doing it behind a computer screen and all that jazz, which we all, you know, so I won't go into too much detail about that. But um, I recently had a really, I'm not going to say nasty because it wasn't, it was just kind of passive aggressive, but comment from somebody and it really got me thinking and I decided that I wanted to make a video about it because in all honesty it did upset me and I know it's very easy for people to sort of say, don't take any notice, it reflects more on them than it does on you, it's their issues, their jealousy, their insecurities, blah blah blah. I know all that but at the same time you can't help how you feel sometimes and it does upset you when somebody says something like, like that to you. So I did really, really kind of struggle with it and it did really upset me. But I can think about it in a different way as well where I want to make it really clear in this video on how we really, really need to think about the things we say to people when it comes to body image and weight because it is such a touchy, touchy subject. And it's a subject that sometimes someone might be struggling with and you might not even know. You might have absolutely no idea that the beautiful girl that sits next to you in college has got really, really low self-esteem because she feels like she's fat and has stretch marks and a wobbly tummy and all that kind of thing you can think she's amazing and beautiful and that can cause you to maybe be a bit jealous and say some mean things to her or kind of backhanded sly remarks which are worse in my opinion but I'll get to that um, but she might be really really struggling and she might be having a really horrible horrible fat day and what you've said might have really really ruined her day and I definitely believe that there are ways of saying things um, but in this case, I honestly, honestly think that unless you're asked, and unless you do it in the most tactful way, even if you say it in a nice way, there is no reason to say it. And I disagree with the fact that people will be like, oh, you've put so much weight on, I'm saying this for your own good, because I think that people aren't stupid. Nobody isn't aware that they've put weight on. Even if they're in denial about it a little bit, you still know, and you still know that you're not fitting into your genes, and you know, and you don't need anyone else to kind of bring that to light, because you're already worried about it, and you do already know. And I'm not kind of saying, you know, in a case of where someone's really unhealthy or, you know, has health problems, like maybe is morbidly obese or something like that, that's a bit of a different situation. But if your best friend has gained like a couple of pounds and she's getting a bit chubby, you don't really need to tell her that because 99.9% .9 of the chances are she already knows, she's already noticed and it's not exactly a very nice thing to say to somebody, no matter how amazing and kind and pure your intentions are, I really do think that it's a matter in which you need to kind of just bite your tongue and not say anything. And because I have struggled with it all my life and because people have always been so vocal about telling me, so the slightest pounds I put on, everybody would tell me and just really, really horrible comments that really, really did upset me um, has made me be very, very sensitive to that and I never, ever, ever say to anybody anything like that. I'd never dream of kind of making somebody feel insecure or self-conscious about it. And it kind of, it made, oh, it's made me feel a little bit um, weird about that, talking about that because I really, really don't want people to feel like that. I don't ever want anybody to feel like you're kind of being picked on because of your weight, it, because of your body. It's just really, really 
awful and sometimes people aren't even saying you've gained weight sometimes it can be a case of you know oh you'd look so much better if you blah 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 and I had the comment from someone a while ago not the really mean one that I was talking about but a different one where she said oh you look really amazing but I think you could do with like losing another um I think she said like 10 pounds or something 20 pounds I don't know but I don't work in pounds like I don't even know how pounds go so I thought oh she probably means like a couple of kilos kind of thing which is true um in my opinion obviously you could think that I need to lose six stone but I then googled to see what it was and it was actually a stone so she was basically saying like you know you could do with losing another stone and I just kind of thought oh well that's not very nice <laughs> just because she didn't mean it in a horrible way. She really, really did not mean it in a, a nasty way. She was just trying to be helpful. But I think when people are trying to be helpful sometimes, you just come across as being insensitive. And that's what it really boils down to. It's being insensitive because even if you don't know that someone's got an issue, you need to think about it before you make these comments. You know, you could be saying to somebody, um, something that you think means nothing but to them absolutely means everything and for example from personal experience I know I've spoken about this before and I wouldn't um, say that like I had a full-blown eating disorder as a teen because it wasn't really that but I definitely kind of touched on it as a teen um, and the kind of scars from that have stayed with me now and I'm so so uber sensitive about it and maybe you'll be thinking well you know that's your problem then you should just get on with it which in a way is true but it isn't really something that you can help and someone making a small comment like you know oh yeah you could do with losing another stone can really trigger that kind of insecurity and that kind of horrible feeling that you get and I'm in a much 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 better place now and I'm nowhere near as bad but in 100% you know all honesty it does still bother me when people say things like that because it just I just don't understand why you would want to tell somebody that and I don't understand how you can say these things and not think that they could possibly hurt someone's feelings and I hate that, I hate the idea of like hurting someone's feelings just unintentionally and we all do it, like just being a little bit tactless, I do it, you know, talking about other subjects but on this particular subject, um, I think it's kind of okay and not just telling people that they've gained weight, I have a friend who's very, very thin and she's just naturally thin, she's got an amazing body and she's just naturally very, very thin, nothing she can do about it but she always gets comments about it and people will be like, oh god, eat a sandwich, you're so skinny and it's just kind of like, excuse me, how is that okay to say to somebody? You know, like, just as it's really rude to say to somebody, oh, you're so fat, you should go on the treadmill, it's really horrible to say to somebody like, oh, you're so skinny. I think someone once told her that she looked like a Holocaust survivor. She was that thin. And we both just sort of stood there and looked at each other like, oh my God, did she really just say that? because people are just so, so, so insensitive. And I understand that if you've not struggled with it yourself, it's very, very easy to be insensitive. Like I have a friend um, whose mum is very, very thin and she obviously is just like that naturally. And she'd always make sort of little comments, like she bought me a dress once for my birthday or something and she said, I bought it in a small, but um, well, I don't think it's gonna fit you now because you know, you're not, and she didn't mean it, like, to be mean, but I just kind of thought, oh, oh, okay, so you're saying that I'm fat, okay, oh, I'm going to go and cry now, but that's kind of what it boils down to, and I didn't want to kind of read out the comment that this person made and make too much of a big deal out of it, because I genuinely think that, I don't know what they meant by it, they've obviously got something going on. Um, but I really, really wanted to make it clear just to some people out there who I'm sure, you know, you're all lovely and amazing, but maybe you just kind of didn't think for a minute or were a little bit tactless and have said something to somebody that then you thought, oh, maybe I shouldn't. And, or maybe now you're just realizing that, yeah, that could really affect how she feels or how she feels about herself. And you'd never, ever want to make anybody feel like inadequate or make their body image worse by making a stupid comment and 
even though that's all it is, a stupid comment, it does kind of really, really affect you if you do suffer from that. So I just wanted to kind of get this out there and maybe make people a little bit more aware and a little bit more sensitive. I'm not by any means saying that, you know, you need to tread on eggshells and that kind of thing, because part of me does understand that, you know, it's your problem, we shouldn't have to tiptoe around you kind of thing, get over it. But at the same time, I do think it is important, especially if it's people that you're close to. Um, and even if you're just talking to people on the internet, it's just not polite and it's not sensitive and it's just not nice it's not nice to give someone that feeling so um i'd be really interested to know what you think about this what kind of types of experiences you've had if you think that you've said something to somebody that now you're thinking oh maybe that could have offended them i'd love to know that as well because like i said it's got nothing to do with like being a horrible person it's just maybe kind of not thinking about it before and we live in a culture where people don't think before they speak and don't think before they type even more and it does cause harm to other people so I just wanted to kind of talk about that and I will see you all in my next video and don't forget to definitely let me know what you think and if you have any other requests for these types of videos as well.